National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Welcome to the celebration of this Eucharist. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from three donors. The first is Anne Ives and Joanne Lovell from British Columbia. And this Mass is being offered for Anne's sister and Joanne's mother, Jenny Bokuski, who's, who died on the 5th of April, 2008. The second is an anonymous donor from St. Catharines, Ontario, for a special intention. The third are the Spitz family in Sydney, Nova Scotia, in honor of their father, Donald Angus Smith, who celebrates his 90th birthday today. On behalf of the faithful across Canada, gathered for this celebration, we thank you. And to Mr. Smith, a happy birthday. As we begin this Eucharist in this Holy Week, we ask the Lord mercy and forgiveness for the times when we, like Judas and Peter, denied and betrayed him. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you came to heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us before the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now pray. Father, may we receive your forgiveness and mercy as we celebrate the passion and death of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing and vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the Lord, and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, and that I might be gathered to him, for I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. The Lord says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in the spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of the disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he had received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. Now when Judas had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I have said to the Jews, so I now say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus answered, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterwards. Peter said to him, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Very truly, I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 